Howdy, y'all. Wanted to make a video to uh, share my sleeping platform design because uh, I really liked the way it turned out and it worked really well for me uh, during the six week trip I took where I was sleeping in my car a lot. You know, not for the entire six weeks, but you know, a lot. And uh, yeah, here were my criteria. Okay, I wanted to make something that was light, that was removable easily, and that was collapsible in a way that I could still use my back seats if I really needed to. I haven't ever needed to collapse it so I could use the seats, but I wanted to make something that was, yeah, light, collapsible, and easy to take out, uh, easy to set up. Because, uh, like many, I had become enamored with the uh, living in a van down by the river uh, lifestyle that I, oh, it's called van life, right? Been uh, watching those videos, seeing some of the things that people do to those. And then I started watching videos of people that were doing similar things, uh, outfitting their car for sleeping uh, in smaller vehicles, like a small SUV like this Toyota RAV4, or even smaller. I saw someone who, who uh, outfitted his Prius to be like a sleeping mobile, like a, a car V. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna set this up now and uh, show you what it's like. Uh, all I have to do is I gotta put the front seats up and then show you how it all goes together. So that's it. Um, you know, I had a sleeping pad, an inflatable sleeping pad, and then a sleeping bag. It's uh, just about exactly six feet uh, back here, so I was able to lay down flat, and uh, it was really great not having to set up a tent. Uh, I still use it when I go to music festivals, and I'm playing. I can actually fit all my gear in here and sleep, so. I don't have to bring a tent, I don't have to set that up and tear it down. The only downside to this is the vertical space. So I could maybe sit up at like a 45 degree angle, like that, but I can't sit up all the way. So as long as I do everything I need to do outside of the car, in terms of, you know, getting ready for bed, changing clothes, brushing teeth, all that stuff, and then I just get in there to sleep, then it's totally fine. But, you know, that's the price you pay for the storage underneath. I wanted there to be some underneath storage here, which is great. You know, I ended up just leaving this in my car and it, it actually increases my storage capacity, I think, because it's got two levels now instead of just one in the trunk, so. Um, let me show you a couple more things about how it's Okay, so it's made of three sections and each section is one of these two foot by four foot, what is this, half inch plywood sheets that I found at a Home Depot. It was great. I, I wanted to do as little cutting and I just wanted to make these as minimal as possible. So. These were already pre-cut two by four, two foot by four foot sheets, and four feet happens to be like a perfect fit across here. So I just got three of them, so it'd be six feet long. 
and then I'll show you how they kind of fit together. Well, I'll take them out of the car, but it's three sections and kind of held together with these pins, which I found I only re really need them in the back. I tell you what, it doesn't look so good now, but I can just throw this rug over it and uh, it looks pretty cozy. And it sleeps pretty well. This thing, you know, rugs are pretty expensive, but uh, I think I got this at Ross Dress for Less and uh, I think it was like 30 bucks or something. So, and it's like, it's decent thickness. It's, it was like a great, great uh, I don't know it seemed like a great deal to me and it fits perfectly it's just a four by six rug so uh, I'm gonna put that on and you can watch this transform from a dumpy looking plywood rickety piece of crap into yeah, get in there a much more Inviting platform to crawl in and sleep on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not bad. It's a flat surface to sleep on. What more do you need? It holds my weight. Oh yeah. So, uh, you keep it down over there? Jeez. Yeah, under here, I, you know, I sell a lot of designs where people would build drawers and stuff, and it looked really nice, but it was like a, a nice piece of furniture, like it was like a permanent feature of the car and would be a pain in the butt to move and stuff. So I ended up just using bins that fit under here and had wheels and would like roll out. So they were basically like drawers, they just didn't look as nice, but it worked great. And then you could slide them out a little bit and they'd be kind of cantilevered in here or whatever that is. So then you kind of had like a table if you wanted it, but you could slide it back. I don't have them here with me now, but you could imagine a plastic drawer sliding out that you could take all the way out if you wanted. So there were certain scenarios where I wanted to sleep in my car and I didn't want people to be able to see in the window. Like uh, at Walmart or something when I was trying to get somewhere and I just needed a place to sleep where I wasn't going to be hassled. Uh, yeah, but I don't want people like looking in the window. So uh, I made these window shades out of this material called Reflectix. It's, um, it's available at the hardware store in rolls. It's, it's cheap. And I just... Uh, trace out like the window outline and then I cut it out of this stuff. So these are, you know, then I spray spray painted the one side black. So kind of just, when I have it in the window, it just looks like a tinted window, like a really tinted window. Like you can't tell there's something in there, but uh, it's completely, you know, blocks all the light. Um, yeah, and I just cut them to size. So they kind of, they just like, fit in the window with pressure and then there were some situations where I you know I didn't really need these but I wanted to keep bugs out of the car and have the windows open so for that I just got this uh, kind of like mesh netting stuff from a fabric store just like this stuff kind of just very non-specifically just cut out a general size and then I'd put it in the window and the window is open and I'd use these magnets to like you know stick the netting in I had a bunch of these little magnets so I'm not gonna go all the way with it you could imagine so uh, when I would arrive at a campsite or wherever I was gonna be sleeping um, due to the length of the vehicle, I couldn't leave the whole platform fully extended and still have enough room to drive. Well, I can, but it's, you know, I'm like pressed up against the steering wheel. So when I would roll up to a campsite and here's what I would have to do to set up to go to sleep. So first thing I would put the front seats up.
and that would uh, that would give me enough room mm. to slide this platform forward that till it rests on the uh, thing of wood below it. And then I was putting pins in these to like hold this thing together, but I found out that I don't need it. And then, yeah, and then I'm good to go. Um, so yeah, and then when I want to leave, just slide this thing back. And I can put seats back to my regular driving position and hit the road. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the platform from my car. I really never do this because I don't carry passengers much, but uh, I'll film it, time it, see how long it takes, and you can watch me struggle through this, but I don't think it's gonna be a struggle because I designed it to be easy. So there it is on the ground, it's in three pieces. So there's one piece that was hard to get out because I got a bunch of crap under it and kept getting stuck on it. But yeah, I took like one minute, so pretty good. Now let me show you how it's put together. Get a closer look at this minimal construction here. That's what I'm calling it, minimal construction. I've taken the platform out of the car and laid it on the ground flat here so we can take a closer look at uh, how this thing's put together and constructed. Now, remember, I was not trying to make this thing look pretty. Uh, I was trying to do the bare minimum that would be effective. And uh, it worked great. So, this is it. It's six feet by four feet. And it's made of three sections. And uh, it has four supports that go horizontally. And that serves as the leg, the legs, and it kind of like braces the uh, wood, the plywood sheet. So it's one main piece, okay? They're all the same size. They're all this, they're all made out of this pre-cut sheet of four feet by two feet, half inch plywood, just the cheapest stuff that was available. Now I see a lot of people use three quarters inch plywood, but there's no way I'm breaking one of these things with my body weight. So I went lighter. I probably could have even gone lighter. Okay, and then on the back, it's just two boards. Okay, there's these are two by threes because there's no way I'd need a two by four or God forbid a four by four. This one's a two by six. Uh, and then these serve as, you know, braces for the plywood. And it's also, I, I just have these little legs on hinges, just as minimal as I could possibly get. So that's, that's it. And the reason I use a two by six here is I'll show you. Because there's a lip, there's like this lip that hangs over, and that's what the uh, the next piece of the platform rests on. So those two parts of the platform, they each only need to have two legs instead of four. This one needs to have four. So <laughs> got to make sure those babies are popped out. This isn't going to be level down on the ground either because I measured it to be level on the surface of the back of my car, which is not level. So, 
second platform is the same thing except it just has this one brace here with the two little legs and uh, this one just has a two by four as the uh, part that hangs over but anyway so you just rest this one onto that two by six again this isn't gonna lay flat on the ground here because it's supposed to lay flat in there and then the third piece is just the one board as well and uh, uses the uh, the end of the last board to support the half that doesn't have legs just like the rest of them so I was trying to make the cheapest lightest most efficient platform that would actually you know hold my weight and be stable enough to not give me any problems just the easiest to put together with the least amount of cutting and screwing and just uh, the least amount of everything I could think of and uh, I think I did it the hardest part not the hardest part well maybe the hardest part was figuring out what height to cut all these different sets of legs to make it level on the inside because you know the one set of legs is in the trunk and then the other set of legs is on the back seat resting on the back seat and the, the other set of legs is resting on the floor so I don't have much experience with that kind of stuff, so I don't know. Figured out a way to make it work. Probably was not the most efficient way, but anyway, this is it. So it's manageable, it's removable. I don't need to have somebody help me lug it around. Or get it out of the car uh, yeah zero issues sleeping on it for I've slept on it a lot of times now and it's great you know what this thing this thing's great I could have slept in that thing it uh, I found it on Craigslist they're so freaking expensive if you get them new but luckily one popped up on Craigslist at the right time Still, I think it was like 200 bucks, but if you get a new one of that size, it's like 600 bucks. It's crazy. But they are awesome. It's like having a second car, almost. Like the amount of stuff you can fit in that thing. It was crucial. It was crucial. The only downside is now, I don't ever want to take it off of the top of the car. Cause like, I don't want to have that in my house, taking up room. So it's just the permanent part of my car now. I'm okay with that. Just gotta watch out when I'm going through drive throughs make sure uh, I uh, got the right clearance. Sure is a hot one out today. There you have it. So, there you have it. Uh, the sleeping platform. I've been thinking about it for so long, I always wanted to try it. And I did it, and I love having it. I haven't needed a tent in a while. Granted, sleeping in a tent does have its perks. You've got more room to move around. Uh, you're a little more, you know, you can take it places you can't take this thing. But in certain situations where you're doing car camping stuff, it's raining out or something, or it's really damp and muddy or something, like at a festival, I just climb in here. And then when I wake up, I I don't have to put away a wet tent, and that's pretty nice. All I gotta do is slide the seats back. I will say though, it can get pretty warm in here. It wasn't really much of a problem when I was in the uh, when I was in you know the southwest and deserty climate because it was you know chilly. But once I got into the hot, humid, you know east coast southern east coast and and like the, also like the middle of the country like missouri was really hot um yeah a fan battery part fan would have made things a lot better so i can't remember exactly how much it cost altogether 
but I just did a little estimate and I think it was probably 70 bucks including the rug um, I sacrificed a little bit of cheapness by buying the pre-cut two foot by four foot plywood sheets uh, but it was totally worth it because you know I could fit them in my car and then when I got them home they were already cut to the size you know those were those the size I designed it for two feet by four feet three you know three platforms so I could just take it home and just immediately start putting it together all I had to do is cut the uh, planks and the legs so that was worth it other than that I don't I don't really know I couldn't think of any way I could have possibly made it any cheaper like uh, so I think I did pretty good 70 bucks definitely paid for paid for itself in terms of you know times I I might have paid for a, a hotel room or something and was able to do that or, or pay for a campsite or whatever you know who cares about that it was just it was just fun it was fun to design fun to make and fun to use and uh people do a lot more than that i was trying to be as you know i was trying to do the absolute bare minimum and uh because i didn't want to be stuck with a big honking piece of furniture in my car that i couldn't move uh, and then I had to store somewhere, so I'm very happy with this design. And uh, I think that's it. That's all I got for you. That's all I got. I love having it in here. I just throw stuff back here, throw stuff under there. So it's a good boy. Good boy.